people all night you're up doing this yeah oh my gosh now it's affected your school tell me about school what it's what it's doing at school What's because school? i'm always on the internet until so late i would wake up around in the afternoon and i would miss like three periods of school and i'll be go so late then when I come home, instead of going doing homework and projects like I'm supposed to, I would get on the internet and just completely forget about it. Because of it, I failed my last semester of school and I'm repeating high school right now. You're repeating it because you failed? Yeah. And you had an issue with a boyfriend? Yes. Me and my ex-boyfriend were together for a little bit over a year. Mm -hmm. Around our ninth or tenth month in a relationship, we were having some issues because he would come over after work or after school to visit me, and I would kind of be like on the internet, and I wouldn't want to make time with him. And, you know, eventually we kind of drifted apart, and we didn't see each other at all. And then he came back, and he's like, okay, I want to fix this. I want to be with you, but I chose the internet over him. I didn't want to see him anymore. You chose the internet over him. Yes. And I know that it's affected, you have a whole body change because of that. Tell me about that. Yeah. When I was in Florida, I was really bubbly, really outgoing. I was always out. I never watched TV. I was ever on the internet, ever. I had a lot of friends, used to go to beach, go to parties. But then when I came here, I never went out. I gained 30 pounds in the last two years. I went from a size 5 to a size 13 in pants. Because you're just sitting there doing I'm nothing. I'm just sitting there munching on food. I never even see my family. I never go out of my room. I just stay there. Tell me about your family. You have a sister, and your sister's been hurt by this as well. Yeah. Me and my sister used to be best friends. We told each other everything, hug out all the time, see each other all day. Now she'll try talking to me while I'm on there, and I'll kind of, like, drift you know, away and I won't really talk to her anymore. So you're cutting all these people out of your life. You don't really have friends anymore. You've lost the boyfriend. You're flunking out of school. Mm -hmm. And now it's even with your family, with your sister. Yeah. Well, your sister Carla is here. Come on out, Carla. <laughs> so Carla, I'm, you're hurt by this. Oh, yes. Tell, tell me about that. Tell me about that. Well, before, we used to be real close. Like, she said, best friends. I used to come home from school, tell her about my day, you know, and she'll tell me about hers. And now it's like, she'll be on the computer, I'll come home from school, and I'll be talking for five to ten minutes, and she'll, she'll look up and be like, were you talking to me? Really? Yeah. So you just tune out. You know what you sound like to me, Patty? Like a drug addict. Yeah. Like, it's, it's that severe where drug addicts, all they care about is that drug, so they cut everything out of their life. Nothing matters. Their kids, their families, their loved ones, nothing matters except that drug. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense if I take out the word drug and put computer or internet or it anime? It definitely makes sense. That nothing else matters. I know your sister, tell me it, how it hurts you and makes you feel, Carla, when she ignores you like that, and you tell her. It hurts because, you know, like I said, we used to be really close. We used to go out and do stuff together, to go to the mall and go bowling and to the movies. And now it's just kind of like, even if we do get the chance to go out, you're always on a hurry to get back on the computer. And what does it make you feel like? We know that's what happens, but what does it make you feel like? It upsets me. It does. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell your sister, Patty? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say. Didn't really know what affected me that much. I mean, I miss you too. I really do. I mean, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it's interesting. These two sisters are crying over something that didn't even exist like 20 years ago. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a whole new thing that is tearing apart relationships, tearing apart families, you know, messing up your relationship with your sister. Y'all are crying over a computer. <laughs> Y'all are crying over some Japanese anime characters. <laughs> you know, like, that's crazy. It's really, really, uh, we're in a different world. And um, I know that you like to draw, right? Yeah, I do. You love to draw. Yeah. Do you ever draw, like, not on a computer, just, like, on paper? I do. Yeah? But... It's like the inspiration just left me, and I'm so into this, you know, I'm, that's all I draw, mm -hmm. pretty much. Well, what if I were to put you in an art class, and I paid for it for a whole year? <laughs> really? Yeah. I love that. I really love Would you do that? Yeah. And, like, in the art class, there's real people in there. There's a real teacher, and you're going to be using real pen and ink and watercolors and oils and 
real stuff, not da -da 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 stuff, okay? <laughs> yeah? And then when you come home, you can show your sister, look, sister, he's a human being, look what I did with my human being friends in class. Okay, is that a deal? That's a, That's deal. a deal. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Hey guys, it's BF Taylor. BFF Taylor is a 13-year-old Georgia girl who's decided to broadcast every detail of her life over the internet. Hiya. Taylor Black is like 10 times better than, you know, Lily Black. <gasps> that chicken died! I'm running, I'm running and done. Okay. It's called life casting. I love you guys. Bye. So Taylor, explain what, what life casting is. What is life casting? Uh, life casting is like basically you do anything that you'd normally do, only you would film it. Um, like so brushing people, your teeth. Well, yes, if you would have put that in, it'd be just basically that. And I heard that one of your hits got like the most hits all, of all time, one of your videos, which was um, what? One of my videos, which is braces, which is me basically talking about my braces that I got about a year ago, and it's had over 61,000 views now. Of you just saying, I got my braces, they're tight, they hurt, and yeah. here's my colored rubber bands, and, and people are like, oh yeah, that's so interesting. Was that okay? <laughs> so tell me why you enjoy doing it so much. Um, I love doing it because it's my hobby now. I mean, it's fun to make videos, and it's also just really interesting and different, and also it's like a, basically a job for me now because I have advertisements on my videos, which I get paid for. How much money do you make a month? Uh, about 30 to 40 a month. Dollars? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so that's like big time if you're 13. She's a baby. She's 13 years old. Um, okay. And how many videos do you have on YouTube? Um, on YouTube, I probably have, well, together I probably have over 350 I've made. 350 of you. <laughs> and I hear you're a celebrity now. Yes, I am. I'm really kind of cool, though, because when I go out and about and just to the mall with my friends or anything, people will come up to me like, oh, my gosh, you're BFF Taylor. And it's just so cool. I find that really, really just awesome. Do you know who our vice presidential candidates are? Yes. Tell me. Palin? It's Palin, right? Yes. It's okay. And uh, I know it starts with a B because I just... Bi Biden? Okay, good. <laughs> Okay. And do you ever take a break from doing it? Um, well, when I do take a break, like with my family, just hanging out, I'll actually get emails where people are saying, like, where the heck are you? Where, when's the next video going to be up? So it's, sometimes it gets kind of overwhelming, but it's still just cool and just fun. <laughs> wow. So the, you're in demand. Yes. <laughs> All right. So your mom, uh, Vicki, is in the audience now. Come, where's Vicki? Hi, Vicki. Stand on up, Vicki. So your daughter is now this internet star, 350 videos, like, you know, the most popular one being braces, which I find interesting. Um, how do you feel? Do you feel it's unsafe at all because she's so out there? Well, like anything in a public arena, I was always worried about safety, but mm -hmm. we went over safety precautions and she's like the queen of blocking people. So if they say anything inappropriate or if they ask for phone numbers or anything like that, she blocks them. So then that's kind of alleviated and really excited for because it started a new passion for her. And tell me about this language that you've created. Like there's a weird language that you've created. Oh, well, in my videos, I'll create words that are combined of others or I'll add weird endings and it's called Taylor Knees. Taylor Knees. <laughs> so give me a Taylor Knees word. Um, one of the most popular that everyone uses now is YOLA, which is like a greeting. And YOLA. Yes. So is that like yo and holla and hello all mixed up? Uh, kind of like yo, ola, that kind of thing. So okay. it's, and if you, like a few others are like dorktastic. Awesome, licious, uh, um, yeppers. Okay, we'll be right back. So, we asked New Yorkers whether they could live a day without technology. So go to tyrashow.com to find out what they had to say. But of course, that means that you do have to go on the internet to do it, but don't stay on all day unless you're on tyrashow.com. Ooh, not really. Okay, sorry. Yeah, go on, but not forever. Okay, whatever. See you later. Fergie!